G'day champions, here I'm uh, going to show you what uh, happens if you use a resistor that's not really designed for the purpose. So, certain applications like uh, heater balance resistors require a resistor that will fail in a graceful fashion. Um, you can use any old resistor, like there's a half watt carbon film, um, it will blow. And then here's a half watt fusible resistor that's designed to blow. The difference is what happens when it occurs. So let's have a look. Let's compare a few types in various power levels and we'll see what happens. And just bear in mind what would happen to the surrounding circuitry, particularly in the case of a uh, circuit board design where the resistor is mounted directly against the circuit board. Alright, so here's the quarter inch metal film. You can see it's it's burnt to a crisp. That kept going for a pretty pretty extended time and you can see there's heat damage going down the uh, the leads there. They're a little bit discoloured so that would have transferred quite a bit of heat back into the circuit board and there's no way you'd know what value that resistor was. And here we've got the one watt metal film. Uh, quite a bit of heat but it blew almost in a uh, fusible resistor style because it's what they call a flame proof safety resistor so that means the paint uh, on it and um, the construction of it is designed out of non-combustible materials and it's designed to not support a flame. Now here's the worst of the bunch that's just a run run of the mill uh, carbon film half watt non-safety non-fusible and that sustained an actual flame and as you can see, made a 
pretty big mess of the front panel of my power supply. I cleaned that off, all good, but uh, that would do quite a bit of damage. That could also risk uh, depositing conductive residues on the surrounding circuitry and, and maybe present uh, a threat of maybe flashover if there's high tension stuff nearby and cause all, all sorts of other problems just from contact, uh, conductive films basically condensing on the surface of the board near where the failure occurred. Here's our two watt metal film that just sort of heated up and then eventually blew in a pretty graceful fashion as well. Uh, I tend to get wherever I can uh, resistors that are at least safety and flame proof rated uh, if it's not particularly in a situation where you need a fusible resistor anyway. And here's the 3 watt that didn't actually go open circuit at all because our power supply sort of fell over in the supply current there. Let's just see what its resistance is now because you could see uh, during the, the process of heating it up uh, the current was dropping and the, co the voltage was pretty well constant so that's what happens when a resistor drifts up in value. And now we're sitting at 105. So it's drifted a little bit, but still within tolerance. So it was probably just the fact that it was so hot that it was uh, raised um, raised its resistance so much. Now it's cooled down, it's probably 105, but you would not be trusting a resistor that's gone through that anymore. And now, as you can see, yeah, all the uh, the paint or the, the, the coloring of the, the color-coded lines has all disappeared so you wouldn't be able to tell what value it was supposed to be in the first place if you didn't have any documentation. And here are our two fusible resistors. So you can see one there is worse than the other. The uh, gold band on one of them has gone like a dark brown. But essentially the package is intact and it wouldn't have caused any damage to the surrounding circuit board or other nearby components. Uh, so that's why we use these uh, for certain applications where they're likely to be abused. And here's the graveyard of the poor little resistors sacrificed to the YouTube gods for your entertainment, you savages. You can see here how reading an overloaded resistor's colour bands would be pretty difficult uh, and sometimes you have to either find documentation online as to what was originally in there uh, or look at the circuit, uh, determine what was the likely value if it's a if it's a little building block of a circuit that's e easily recognizable. Um, if it's something uh, that is not easily recognizable, uh, you might have to do some trial and error stuff to see if uh, the voltages will be about what are expected. Um, yeah, because you can't measure them, they're open circuit. So although fusible resistors are designed to fail reasonably gracefully, they will get hot. So I just lift them off the board to prevent any damage to the board underneath in the event of a failure. It's pretty easy. Here they're installed as heater balancing resistors in that Strauss amp. Uh, previously just had a grounded center tap, but we'll, we'll float the heaters and balance them with resistors for lower hum levels because the transformer is not always perfectly balanced.